Okay, a full turn extension strike it can be performed one or two hands. It's according to the situation, how you can perform it. A very powerful, quick, solid technique. If you have time to deliver it, usually, almost always, it's a finishing technique. If attacker's really spluttering around, jumping at you, it's not wise to turn you back. So I always try to remember, use it as a finishing technique. And um, here we go. You're in the ready position. Here, we're gonna step in, then we'll demonstrate a couple backward. Okay, you're stepping in. You're gonna make this, what I call the roller coaster flip. You'll drop the rear hand as you turn into the attack zone. You'll drop the weapon from here, keeping your lead hand up as a guard. And this is what I call a roller coaster flip, keeping this flip to the rear of the body, never let it get to the front. Now, as you step out, then you extend the weapon through. It can go straight through or to an angle going from shoulder to hip area, like that, or to the side of the face. Again, stepping up, full turn extension strike. Doing a little roller coaster flip. Remember, keep the weapon to the rear of the body until you get three quarter of a way around, then you deliver through the target. So you go to the rear, then as you step out, go through the target, and back. Step in back. One a little higher. Remember, keep the weapon. I can't tell you enough how important it is to keep the weapon to the rear. Never spin and let it be up here. You're going to have nothing there. Plus, by the time you get around, you're going to lose it. So it'll be like a whiplash motion if you don't. Keep it in rhythm with your body. When your body pivots, you can sometimes lose the weapon when the weapon tries to catch up with your body. So slowly, full turn extension strike. These next two, we're going to finish here with a two-hand full extension, extension strike. So the full turn extension strike with two hands. Strike it through. And regroup quickly. Since we're showing it in slow motion, that was quick. Okay. I'm going to step back. Again, dropping the weapon to the rear, almost touching the floor. And you bring your height up to the area you're going to strike out. Try to get the weapon ready at the area you're going to strike. Then pivot your body through there and quickly recover. You're ready for whatever.